Poaching remains a crime fueled by demand for wildlife artifacts by a readily available international market. And the Kenya Wildlife Service continues to lose rangers to the poacher's bullets as they endeavor to protect the prized possession. Wildlife security threat is a global phenomenon that has been largely driven by the high demand for ivory and rhino horn in the Far East countries. Speaking at the remembrance ceremony in honor of 61 rangers who have been killed in the line of duty, Environment Cabinet Secretary Professor Judy Wakungu said, the passing of the Wildlife Conservation and Management Bill by Parliament this month will help to up the ante in conservation efforts as the bill provides a paradigm shift in the conservation of wildlife. The Wildlife Conservation and Management Bill 2013 which is now awaiting the President's assent. We have no illusion that His Excellency the President who supports conservation and stintingly, the Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta will ascend it into law as soon as possible. This is very, very fundamental and significant because for the first time, you know, we're going to have steeper penalties, you know, particularly for uh, poachers. Uh, and uh, those, particularly individuals who poach the elephants and the rhinos. Due to the continued loss of rangers in the line of duty, NABU International Foundation for Nature has set up a fund that will help assist affected families. A parent of one of the rangers killed urged the government to help in lessening their plight. Positive alarm. Aka woke for two years and then uh, kutoka hapo aka tukapata habari kwamba amewawa na majangili porini. Sasa hakukuwa na njia ingine ni kupokea tu yaliyotokea. I am looking forward to the inauguration of the Wildlife Forensic and Genetics Laboratory and the gazettement of the facility and personnel to help in successful prosecution of wildlife, wildlife crimes in the country. According to KWS, over 274 elephants and 43 rhinos have been killed this year, while 95 rhinos were born during the same period. Judith Akolo, Channel 1 News Hour.